Trillion Year Spree by Brian Aldiss with David Wingrove. This book is an updated edition of the 1973 book Billion Year Spree by Brian Aldiss. This is a history of written science fiction. It's difficult to identify the beginning of science fiction. In fact, you might argue it's always been with us in storytelling. Aldous begins with Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. He spends time looking at this early 19th century novel. Then he touches on a number of other authors in the 19th century, ending up with Verne's and Wells. With H.G. Wells, we have a longer section of the book. Trillion Year Spree was a fast read, even though it was 600 pages long. This is one of those rare books where I used a highlighter. I know that may not be popular with some, but I found there were passages here that I want to refer back to as I review books in the future. About Victor Frankenstein, I highlighted, What is mankind to seek if not God? Answers to this modern conundrum include objectives like knowledge, power, and self-fulfillment. According to one's reading of the novel, Victor Frankenstein can be understood to seek all three. Or here's another example about Wells. His audience is accustomed to powerful heroes with whom they can unthinkingly identify. A mass audience expects to be pandered to. Wells never pandered. From Wells, we go into Edgar Rice Burroughs and then into the establishment of the pulp magazines with Hugo Gernsback. Moving on, we come to the astounding era with John W. Campbell and many of the science fiction authors you recognize from the Golden Age. There is a survey of authors and editors and themes as we move forward in time. This second edition of the book includes history of the 70s and early 80s. From my understanding, David Wingrove adds a little bit of information about movies and films. But the theme of this nonfiction book is the written science fiction word. This was a very entertaining history, spending time both in the UK and United States. There are some other authors examined from outside of those countries, but the majority of the history comes from those two nations. Aldous's writing is entertaining. There are quips at times about authors or subjects that can be very cutting. Overall, though, the tone is respect for the genre. As part of the new wave, Aldous brings literary criticism to the topic. He highlights that which transcends the pulps. If you love SF, it's worth examining the context in which it was written. I highly recommend this book. I give it 9 out of 10. Do you have any recommendations for history books about SF? Do you see science fiction as literature? What might be holding back some people from seeing it that way? I would love to read some comments about this. Until next time, keep reading.